Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back on the Cummins part. So, my other video, I was showing you how the piston ring broke on the Cummins 5.9 liter. You could see it wasn't burning very well, knocking like hell. Uh, terrible sounding. Everything's fine, all the connecting rods are heavy duty. We're gonna reuse the connecting rods. We're gonna put new bearings. We're gonna put new wrist pins, new pistons, new rings. Anyways, I went to Harbor Freight and you don't need a fancy hone. This is a three finger hone right here. And you put your hand drill, uh, DeWalt, Milwaukee, Rigid, whatever you prefer on low, not on high. And you set that up inside there with the drill. I like using WD-40 as a cutting oil. It works damn good and you just go up and down in your drill in your cylinder i mean and it will hit in the bottom so just be careful because i had to put this one back together a few times it's made to come apart so it doesn't destroy the hell out of your cylinder by gouging everything but anyways so you don't need nothing fancy unless your cylinder is bad and you need it bored these three finger hones from harbor freight work damn good and 25 bucks a piece i bought two of them just in case but I'm going to show you how to set your piston ring gap. Okay. So when you're setting your piston ring gap, I got the top rings. And every one of them, as you can see all the way back. What you want to do is put your top piston ring right here. Your top piston ring, the very top one, very first. And you want to get your piston and line it up. I go all the way down. To where it sits flush that mark right there now the reason for that that is down below so that is part of your compression bore it's not out and it's it's not out of where it makes compression it's still inside of there so you set every one of them now coming stock well not just Cummins all piston ring stock stock okay they want four thousandths of an inch, four thousandths per inch of cylinder. These cylinders on the 5.9 liter Cummins are exactly right at four inches. So that would be 16 thousandths of an inch. Okay, now high performance builds are about five thousandths per inch. So you would want 20 thousandths of clearance for more boost and high performance, 16 thousandths for stock applications. Me, myself, I like going 18 thousandths right in between both of them. Never, and you only do this after you hone the cylinders, never before. Hone your cylinders out first. You gotta hone them, and then get the good cross etching going, and don't, don't worry about little imperfections if you can't feel it with your nail it's clearly gone it will not be there even though you can see it if you can't feel it you hone until you cannot feel with your fingernail no longer these came out very good and these these little imperfections don't worry about it it's above your ring they'll never touch it so anyways, that's how you hone a cylinder. I use lots of WD-40, spray it in, run them in and out. WD-40 is a good cutting oil and it works damn good for cast iron blocks. But anyways, back to setting the piston ring gap. So it's four thousandths per inch of cylinder. Four inches would be 16 thousandths of an inch. Like I said, high performance builds are five inch, five thousandths of an inch per inch, so that would be 20 thousandths. I go in between high performance and stock, 18 thousandths is a perfect gap. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks for checking it out, and I'll be making other videos as we go on with the build.